When the communists took over North Vietnam in the early 50s, many fled to the South. Then, in 1975, 35 years of fighting in Vietnam are now ended. The president of South Vietnam has unconditionally surrendered to the Viet Cong. They fled once again, many risking their lives on overcrowded boats. Thousands found their way to a strange new land where they rebuilt their community. In New Orleans, many took up fishing, something they knew from Vietnam. Thirty years later, nearly half the boats on the Gulf of Mexico would be Vietnamese owned. And then, in 2005. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish I had better news for you, but we are facing a storm uh, that most of us have feared. Many living in New Orleans East lost their homes to Katrina, and the community was nearly lost but for the leadership of Father Vien Nguyen, who helped the community rebuild and fight for its very existence when the city proposed turning their community into open space and later located a landfill for the toxic waste debris from the hurricane right in the heart of their community. After five years of rebuilding after Katrina, things were finally getting back to normal. And then it happened. 50 miles south of Louisiana, a massive explosion lit up the sky. Now authorities are worried about an environmental catastrophe. Thousands were out of work, facing an uncertain future of fishing in the Gulf. Once again, the very survival of this community, 80% of which depends on fishing and seafood processing, was in question. The community desperately needed something to give it independence and resilience. The community already had developed the concept of an urban community farm. In the wake of the BP oil spill, there was another idea being put forward. How can we use new technology to help rebuild the fishing industry and do it sustainably until the Gulf heals and do it on land? And these are land-based recirculating aquaculture systems. They recirculate 99% of their effluent. There's no discharge, mm -hmm. no chemicals or antibiotics. The Viet Village Urban Farm Sustainable Aquaculture Park, it looked great on paper. But would the community members accept it? At a workshop of community fishers and seafood workers held in late 2010, the project was enthusiastically embraced and is now moving forward. And along the way, it's forging new partnerships and friendships. <laughs>